Hello guys, good day, happy Sunday. This is Anna Free Force Me Club. Today we are going to talk about how religious Filipinos are. Yes, indeed. Devoted to you, my God. According to Philippine Statistics Authority. That's that's fact. Out of over 108 million households, 78.8% of them reported Roman Catholic as their religion next to Islam and Iglesia Ni Cristo, which means that predominantly Christianity is the main religion of Philippines. And according to Stanford Medicine, Ethnogeriatrics, Philippines is the only country in Asia in which Christianity is the national religion. So religion plays core, a central role in the lives of Filipinos, or it could be Filipino-Americans around the world. So speaking about region-wise in the Philippines, of 17 regions in the country, Picol region wrote, posted the highest number of Roman Catholics at 95.5% of its household population. Among 33 urbanized cities in the Philippines, including Cebu, Mandawi posted the highest proportion of household population as Roman Catholics. What can you say? We don't forget about our duties every Sunday. And if you ever claim to be not so religious kind of person, when you go to Philippines in Sundays, you can see people around going to church. Church are almost fooled or could be fully occupied. People can manage to stand outside while listening to the priest. And we don't mind. Now, what is Christianity? Oh, this is this is not a Christian subject, though. We're, this just is just a, a quick information about Christianity. So it actually focuses on the life and works of Jesus Christ. Now, why religion plays an important role? Since you know the colonization, world wars in the past, why religion plays an essential role. Why? What do you think? <laughs> Actually, religion influences how a person perceives the world and the values he accepts and rejects. In other words, religion gives every person who believes in it a sense of belongingness, which is one of the basic needs in Maslow's, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We have, you know, in the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, we, need the, we have the basic needs, the food, air, water. Second one is the safety and security needs. And the third one is the love and belonging needs, Follow, followed by self-esteem and self-actualization. So, yeah, that's how religion works. Matter of fact is, religion has been used by the dominant countries, dominant empires way back in the past, like Roman Empire, to colonize a certain country by means of introducing religion first. This is to, to gain power over another country, occupying a certain area with the settlers safely, all right, safely without bloody revolutions as much as possible. And then, yeah, it did. Yeah, it did happen in the Philippines, you know, way back the time when the Spaniards came into Philippines, and there were hundreds of revolutions happened, but they were already in the Philippines, and they have already, you know, invited successfully uh, gained the hearts of some Filipinos to, to go and fight on their sides. 
the Spanish Spaniards side against Filipinos in the Philippines. So they're fighting in the same area. So they, they were able to get a couple of loads of Filipino soldiers to fight for them. So they're already in the country. And that journey took 333 years to get over it. Gosh, that was a long time. So it started when Magellan came in. Now, we are in the part in which Christianity well, you know, was being initiated in the Philippines. So Magellan came around somewhere in Samar, Cebu, last 1521. He actually, the, the main purpose of his uh, stopover, so they were kind of a Vikings, explorers to gather gold and spices for Spain. So he stopped over in Cebu, Samar, Samar, Cebu, to, to recharge, rest, and gather some foods for his people. But then he met the natives. So he decided to introduce Christianity to them. Matter of fact is they accepted the religion. And after a couple of days, Lapu-Lapu heard about this. Lapu-Lapu is, Lapu-Lapu's religion is Islam. So he was totally against it. He never wanted to convert. I would, I can't blame him. So when he happens to know that Christianity is being introduced by a foreign settler in the Philippines, he revolted against Magellan's people. And Lapu-Lapu was the one who killed Magellan. Even Magellan's body hasn't been found up to this time. Lapu-Lapu hid it somewhere as his trophy. That's according to history. From the time when Magellan died, there was a follow-up from Spain. By the way, they're not finished yet. Yeah, absolutely. Way back 1565, Miguel Lopez de Legazpi went back to Philippines. And he initiated Christianity again with colonization. So that was, uh, yeah, 333 years of journey with the Spaniards. That only stopped during American-Spanish War, which ended particularly last December 10, 1898, in the Treaty of Paris. So the purpose of that agreement is actually to end Spanish colonization in the Philippines, granted possession to Cuba, Guam, Puerto Rico, and of course, Philippines to United States of America. So from that day on, there were a couple of wars going on and after 1898 onwards, that was the end of global Spanish colonization and the rise of the American world power. However, however, Christianity stays in the heart of every Filipinos around the world. We do celebrate Saints Day, all sorts of religious celebrations even we don't have in, even though we don't have enough money we do make an effort to honor it to drink a toast in the name of religious commemoration in the name of god so that's it for today this is an of reinforcement club telling you you never lose you either win or learn have a lovely day ahead happy sunday